2 Corinthians chapter number 5. I will read quickly from verse 14. 2 Corinthians 5 and from verse 14, from the King James Version. For the love of Christ constrains us, because we thus judge that if one died for all, then we are all dead. The reason for death is sin. The wages of sin is dead. For our sins, Jesus Christ died. For the love of Christ constrains us because we thus judge that if one died for all, for all, then we are all dead. And that he died for all, that they which live should not henceforth live unto themselves, but unto him which died for them and rose again. So we are to live the exact life Christ ought to live if he were here right now. If Christ... He's alive now. He wouldn't be sick. He wouldn't be poor. He wouldn't be begging. Christ will not be living under any evil load put on him by the devil. As he is, so are we in this world right now. So we are to live the exact kind of life that Christ ought to live. We are here to be here right now. We are for henceforth. No we no man after the flesh. Yea, though we have known Christ after the flesh, yet now... Henceforth, know we him no more. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Sickness must go. Every disease must go. Every problem must go. Every trouble must go. If you are in Christ Jesus, every traumatic experience must go. Hardship must go. Begging must go. Borrowing to feed must come to an end. Whatever God cannot permit Christ to go through now, if he were here right now, you are not permitted by God to go through the same. Therefore, anything imposed on you by the wicked drops off you right now. In Jesus' mighty name. If any man be in Christ, he is a brand new creature. The old is gone. The new has come. So we need to understand this new and then begin to live this new life. Enjoying our new blessings. And all things are of God who has reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ. We are reconciled to God our Father. Now when a child reconciles to his rich dad, he doesn't live poor anymore. So therefore, every trace of poverty drops off you from today responsibility is the crux of fatherhood. Every father that is what is onions is responsible. God is not an irresponsible dad. As a matter of fact, we call him Abba, Father, because he loves us so dearly. There is nothing in his power that is not to be done for you from this moment on. Therefore, receive every of your desires greater by God in the name of Jesus Christ. He has reconciled us to himself and has given us the same ministry to reconcile others. To wit that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses or sins unto them. And he has committed to our hands the word of reconciliation. Now that we are ambassadors for Christ, we are his representatives, his envoys. Whatever Christ is to use to do his work here on earth if he were here all of such are ours his power riches his wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing every provision of heaven that christ would have used for his work here now they are ours so we can never suffer lack it doesn't matter what happens the power to raise the dead is with us right now the power to cleanse lepers are have it right now the power to stop every evil work of the devil is with me right now. I therefore speak to you as his ambassador, having all he is and has. Oh yes, that whatever Christ is able to do, which he has empowered me to do, that is your desire, be granted right now. Receive freedom from sin. Receive healing from that evil disease. Receive your liberty from every captivity. Be restored to the place God has prepared for you. Be restored to your purpose in the name of Jesus Christ. We are his ambassadors. 
Why? So that we can get you back to our Father for you to enjoy every provision of heaven. May that be your true experience from this day forward. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are blessed. For he had made him to be seen, who knew no sin, so that you can become the righteousness of God in him. If you are righteous, you enjoy the fruit of righteousness, freedom from every evil. Resurrection to all that is good and heavenly. May that be your story from this day forward. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Peace.